Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the boxer moving left and right. Uh, so we've got our two different animations, and we are going to go to events, and we're going to create ourselves a basic event, uh, and that will be an update event. Uh, and what we're going to do with this is we're going to create ourselves a basic if function that if a certain button is pushed and let's start with right uh, the character is going to move left or right and what we'll also do is we'll change the animation based on what happens um, so what we're going to do is drag in an X speed and we'll set that to something like 20 and for the other two options, we're going to use an otherwise if and an otherwise. The otherwise will be essentially if the character isn't moving. Uh, and then the otherwise if is going to be if the alternate option of if left is pressed or, or left is held down. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to fill those out. Remember that left is the opposite of 20, so sorry, opposite of right. So whatever you put in as the value for going right, you're going to want to put the opposite in for left. So now, if I quickly test this, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll throw in the animations first. So if I go to actor, draw, animation, I'm going to define the animations of, of the character's legs. So if I go to appearance, uh, you can see I've got idle and walking. So uh, remember when you're filling this in that you need to be case sensitive. Uh, so I've got capitals for my two animations, so don't get caught out by that. So I've got walking for moving left and right, and then idle, standing still. So as I mentioned before, this is this works this should work perfectly fine. Uh, the main issue that we're going to have is finding a way to link our upper body of our character to uh, the boxer's legs, uh, which, which, assuming that this works, which it should, uh, we will do next. So, oh. ah. <laughs> so what we will do is, well, the mistake that has been made is the intro is set as our beginning scene. So what we can do as a quick sidestep on this is we're going to go to our start scene and we're going to set it up to be able to move to the next level. So we're going to create our first event in the, the scene and we're going to say if the mouse is clicked, uh, we're going to proceed to the next scene. So we can, we can find that under scene game flow, and then switch to scene. And that'll be uh, level. We want to do that over half a second, fade out and half a second to fade in. Um, I'll just make that a bit clearer, because I know it just looks like five seconds there. So now uh, you should be able to move between the two scenes. So if I press click to play, now my legs, oh wow, <laughs> my legs can move left and right. Amazing. Okay, so that's all set up. Uh, so one of the things that we're probably going to have to do is, uh, wow. <laughs> so we'll have a little mess around with that in a, in a little bit. Uh, but for now, uh, what we could probably do is... Uh, we're going to get our other set of legs working as well. So, you know, it's pretty simple to do. All we need to do is copy and paste this across. Uh, 
make sure you get the right bindings for it. Uh, so it should be A. So now theoretically we should have two sets of legs moving around the level. Uh, now whilst this is good, obviously it's not <laughs> we're not building a leg a leg in a running game. So the next thing that we're going to get created is our top, our upper torsos. There we go. Uh, and in the interest of this tutorial, I have made the decision that I will be setting it to rectangles for left and right, just to make it a little less confusing for people. Um, so now, uh, what we can do is we're going to get our boxes linked to our character. Um, so what I'm going to do is just for now I'm going to wrap up the video here because we've just got that basic uh, walk movement implemented and then in the next video I'm going to go through game attributes and linking those two together.